Hello everyone, good morning. So today in this lecture, we are going to talk about patterns of inheritance. So uh, in last lecture, we talked about Mendelian uh, laws of genetics. So Mendelian laws of genetics are universal. They model my transmission. So it doesn't apply universally. And we will get well. A few examples will be uh, delivered. So there are a number of exceptions to Mendel's principles observed by later workers. Mendel workers But there were some astonishing findings, some of which we will be describing in today's lecture. So let's at first uh, talk about interaction of genes. Now, interaction of genes lies in the two major groups. Intra or simply we can call allelic interaction or simply uh, instead of allelic we can say intragenic interaction as well. Yes, my key on setup on the duita allele speeds because interaction on neo and the main thing is that the gene locus should be the same. The gene locus should be the same and on the two homologous chromosomes and these are incomplete dominance co-dominance and multiple alleles, and we are going to cover these in today's lecture. So the next type of genetic interaction is inter or non-allelic, and we can also call it intergenic interaction. Now here, yeah, when gene interaction, now you have to look at here, different loci. So here, on same gene locus, and here we have different loci. So it can be, again, the same chromosome, or the chromosome can be different. And the examples include, epistasis, polygenic inheritance, which we are going to uh, talk in this today's lecture. Okay, so now I have region it like one, two, three, four, five, and these are intraallelic, these three ones, and these four and five are the interallelic. So we are not going to write it under these two headings, interallelic or intraallelic, that you need to remember. Okay, so let's at first move with incomplete, incomplete dominance. Of incomplete dominance, ma Mendel is a key one. Is it one? Is the Yafana is someone? Yes, my Yota dominant alleles or the same recessive alleles. And he said that the character of the dominant allele will be expressed. But in incomplete dominance, as my key pine, then when it's a little dominant alleles, then a dominant corsa, one pine. Other we cannot, which we sometimes do not find a phenotype of the dominant allele in Yafan generation. Instead, ham is a key guy in Japan, a complete dominance, nay absent. So, in incomplete dominance, you F1 phenotype to intermediate, uh, F1 phenotype saying, do it parental traits of each one intermediate. Unsa. As we look in the example below, it's the red raw white seven, now it will appear pink, not uh, red in F1 uh, generation or F1 phenotype. And yes, ma, you can work with the one that dominant easily, after like fully expressed government, not so get out. And that's what we call incomplete dominance. So the first example is, so this is four o'clock plant or Mirabilis Jalapa. So it's much in the amyle, mosaicus, red flower plant. So this is mosaicus and red flower plant. Like the amyle, mosaicus, white flower plant, represented with small R, R. And it's much in your fun flows anymore. If these are dominant, then according to Mendelian laws of trans genetic transmission, you know, the red day on new. Instead of becoming red, they are found to be pink color. Now, you have an hybrid light in a pink color, very self pollination, very very thin, very color. So, red, pink, and white in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. If it, if it showed the true Mendelian uh, pattern of inheritance, then it should have been 3 is to 1. I'm the pile of the second dollar dot, the plant to. Yes, ma. The uh, true Mendelian genetics follow Gorty one, then it should have been three to one. That you incomplete dominance currently data. Now the ratio becomes modified and becomes one is to two is to one. So here again, the phenotypic ratio is again identical to the genotypic ratio. So uh, this is phenotypic ratio, and the same will be the genotypic ratio. Okay, so let's look at this in this diagram. So we have first parents. These are red flower, uh, four o'clock plant. And these are white flower of the uh, white flower bearing four o'clock plant. So they will have different camps. So when it's red, 
have uh, gametes for, for, from the red flowering plant, and this is white visco gametes, a small R on a Now in F1 generation, it will be all pink, and it will be represented with RR. So here, a half copy of gene R, we can say that 50% uh, allele is dominant, let's not say dominant, but incompletely dominant or capital R, and another is small R. Now on cell thing, we have, we get one red, one white, and two pink. Obviously, my say ratio when you go, phenotypic ratio is one is two, two is two, one. So that is red is two, pink is two, white. And the genotypic ratio is again the same. One red, two pink, and one is white. So you can just say that the uh, heterozygotes, so the pink feature are F1, uh, so heterozygotes, so pink, same similar to in F1 generation. And the this one is red and this one is white. Okay, so this is one example. So in simple, and you see that you have the flowers, you have the white flowers, and you have plant like the end. They fertilize, pollinate, cross pollinate. Then F1 generation was pink. Then you have cell pink, cell pollination. Now we will, and they say, you have the you have the red, you have pink. So it is 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio, which is similar to that of the genotype ratio. Okay, so the next example is in Andalusian Falls. The inner cap is which are pure from you have black represented with BBLs and also white are represented by small PBLs. So in the inner lab, we cross the F1. F1 was in a room instead of becoming black. Again, they are intermediate of the parental tracts of your black or white, which is intermediate also, so it will appear blue. So represented with this one. Now, your blue color is a parental phenotype, mixing up, uh, let's not say mixing up, but intermediate colors. So, if one hybrids are lining, they are crossing the line, then they are saying that they are going to be false, and the ratio is again 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, one black, two blue, and white, one white false uh, in after generation. So, let's look at this diagram. So this is black chicken, this is white chicken. Okay, so now this is the genotype, capital B, capital B for a black ball, and small b, small b for white ball. And now in F1, we will have this heterozygous, and instead of showing uh, black, um, as we depict from Mendelian genetics, so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the intermediate between the black and white color, so it's blue. I mean, okay, beach could say, uh, yeah, fun generation, okay, beach, but the mating that I was for cross breeding that I want Then in F2 generation, we'll have one black, do it as a blue one, so these are heterozygous, and the next one is uh, white. So, so this is what is now the ratio becomes one is to two is to one, both phenotypically and genotypically. So, this is what is all about uh, incomplete dominance. So, now let's look at co dominance. Our incomplete dominance, my key one, the dominant. Uh, Elite Akno character fully expressed Karna Pausena, they were a recessive but dominant co beach mate to a uh, hybrid or co character said the Hinsu. The co dominant ma, do it alleles say, to equally dominant. So if they are equally dominant, then do it alleles say Akno characters expressed Karna. So that's what is written here. In co dominance, the genes of an allelomorphic pair are equally dominant. So this is very important. Do it alleles equally dominant. Unsa? Equally dominant, F1 hybrid, but we Now, in F1 hybrid, both of the characters of the alleles will be expressed. Now, we have mixing up, we have to parent or traits, we have to make a character. We have to make a character. So, in heterozygous condition, we have to make equally dominant, and we have to express a character. So, they express themselves fully and we call that phenomenon co-dominance. Now let's the best example one called ABO plot group of human group. So uh, please listen to it carefully because it, uh, it is also an example for multiple alleles that we are going to describe later. So in ABO plot group in humans, so human must have four other three, three plot groups and A, B, A, B and O. So let's not, let's not uh, talk about RH factor again, RH negative or positive, just plot group, 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 group,
अब यो ब्लड ग्रुप लाई हामी यो चाहिँ एलिल्सहरुको कम्बिनेसन्स ले अ डिटरमाइन गर्छ एन्ड दे आर रिप्रेजेन्टेड बाइ दिस सिम्बल्स सो हरेक इन्डिभिजुअल मा के हुन्छ भने यो तीनटा एलिल्स मध्ये दुईटा एलिल्स मात्रै त्यहाँ एक्जिस्ट गर्छ सो दिस एलिल्स ए एन्ड बी दे आर इक्वली डोमिनेन्ट दुईटा चाहिँ इक्वली डोमिनेन्ट हुन्छ दैट मीन्स दे आर कोडोमिनेन्ट अनि इनरले चाहिँ दुई यदि तिनीहरुलाई सँगसँगै राख्दियो भने फर एक्जामपल if it is ia and ib represented by ia and ib so both alleles are present and in that case our blood mass a antigen mass a b antigen pan equal expression sir and the blood group will be ab blood group so now let's look at it here so first uh, this is group uh, blood group a blood group a ko sign genotype so uh, uh, this uh, oil is it's a recessive so io and ia it also code for uh, blood group a so don't get it confused a and b alleles a and b are codominant but allele o is recessive so genotype ia io uh, refers to blood group a and ib io uh, these alleles are this genotype refers to group b so the gametes will be uh, a and o alleles uh, in two gametes and here b and o so we will get uh, these genotypes so ab yes ma chai hune genotypes haru ma chai here bhane so this i this will be blood group ab kina ab ta bhanda a ra b dui chai equally dominant chan ar these are codominant ani arko bhaneko blood group a ho so this is o is o l l is o is recessive to both a and b so it is a aba again because l is o is recessive to uh both l is b and a so again uh, ib io it will refer to group b so as for phenotype group b on the blood group b when it is due to recessive allele seven then it will be group o aba isma hamle dekhauna khojeko kura ke ho ta ko dominant ho kesto bhane hamlai inaru aru chai matlab chaina so we are very interested on this yaha dui tai alleles a ra b aunda khe yo dui tai a ra b alleles chai equally dominant bhako bara athwa ko dominant bhako bara dui tai ko character express bhako bara the blood group will be ab ab yaha kunai a athwa b bhanna chai meldaina so this is what is uh, what it uh, refers to the phenomenon of codominance okay so now let's look at multiple alleles aba blood group hai ho eutai character ho blood group can be either a b ab o ra esma chai ellai control garna ko lagi yanera hami sita tin ta alleles haru chan huna ta har ek genes ma chai so we have टू एल्स एट अ टाइम एक चोटी में कि आईए आईबी हो दिस एल एल्स विल बी देयर और इट कैन बी आईए आईओ और आईबी आईओ और आईओ आई दुई चाहिए ये होना सो इफ इट इज आईए आईए इट कैन आल्सो बी और इट कैन बी आईबी आईबी एज वेल नाइक तो होना सकता है तो बार अब इसमें एउटे क्यारेक्टर लाई तीनटा अथवा बडी एलिल्स को एलिल्स हरले चाहिँ कन्ट्रोल गर्छन् भने वी कल दैट मल्टिपल एलिल्स सो द एग्जांपल इज अगेन a uh, blood group in human is man saying ia ib and io these three alleles in their combination they the uh, let's say blood group phenotypes are controlled also and from these combinations we will get blood groups a b a b and o okay so now let's move to the uh, fourth topic so epistasis so this is uh, your epistasis chain the genetic interaction my other thing so we have put it under separate inter allele atwa intergenic interaction ma gare chau so it should be different loci remember isko loci chai different hunu parcha aba chromosome haru same hola farak hola hunda doesn't matter but the loci has to be different aile hamle yo jati pani yo tin tai ma hera yi tin tai ma chai yo same gene locus ma chai hamle pura gareka chau bhane now the loci here in inter allele both in polygenic inheritance of epistasis uh the you will say alleles and for saying loci it should be different okay so now let's at first define what epistasis is epistasis bhane ko kunai euta gene ko athwa allele ko kunai euta a local chromosome ko kunai euta locus ma bhayeko gene ko expression lai suppression or ko kunai gene le jun aru kunai locus ma cha then we can we call it a uh, but at the eudai chromosome ma hunu paryo so this has to become a uh, this are, both the alleles should be in the same chromosome but the 
locus or loci should be different. Ara yau thale thi arko lai suppress karsa, arko jin expression lai sa, allele ko expression lai suppress karsa wani koi kal that phenomenon epistasis. Ara jin zalle thi hypostatic jin lai. Atwa jun jin lai jun jin thi suppress karsa, we call it hypostatic jin. Ani hypostatic jin lai zalle suppress karsa, then we call that epistatic jin. So hypostatic jin wani we suppress to niyo. The epistatic gene one is hypostatic gene like suppress garam or it causes suppression and it is suppressed. Okay, so now let's have a smarter do it a cry of that suppressed one is a suppressed garam which is one budget. So we have two types of epistasis. One is recessive epistasis and another is dominant epistasis. Again, epistasis one is a yota elili or co elili like suppressed garam. And these alleles are gene locus is different in the same problem. So in recessive epistasis, this might be on the other side. You recessive allele. Just my say, let's suppose your supposition. Let's suppose you have a recessive gene L. You have a dominant gene B. If you apply high ground, you have a suppressed ground. So recessive allele. So it has to be in homozygous condition. And then it says both A and B. And then it can, now it's like this. It's like A, but it's like B. Capital B, small b, or both alleles dominant, or single allele is dominant. It's like a dominant gene, or it's like a dominant gene. So it's like this. Your homozygous recessive allele, small a, a, let's say, आह रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस को पहले मैंने देखा होता था यू डोमिनेंट जीन बी को एक्सप्रेशन लाइक सॉफ्टनेस कराओ सो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द फॉर कलर इन माइस अब इसमें जाइ माइस में जाइ यो एगोटी अथवा ग्रे कलर ब्लैक रे एल्लो पिगमेंट को कंबिनेशन बाता प्रोडक्शन एंड दिस एगोटी कलर लाइक जाइ लेट it's called recessive allele, let's suppose C. You can see how it is. So this is the small C. And you say, you see the hypostatic. So now you say, it's called expression, how many people are stuck on that? Or how many people are stuck on that? So how many people are stuck on that? We have small C, small C. So that is homozygous recessive condition. And so the dominant allele C. Now the dominant allele C, in the absence of dominant allele A, अब यहाँ ने रखा भी चाहिए साइना अथवा डोमिनेंट एल ये साइना तरह डोमिनेंट एल सी चावन नाउ दिस सी ए इट विल गिव राइज टू ब्लैक माइस अब फिर यहाँ डोमिनेंट एल ए था बने तो इस तरह वाला मां इले ब्लैक कलर से दिन सकते हैं सो ए रिफर्स एगोटी कलर तरह ये दी आ ये दी यहाँ ने रा रिसेसिव अथवा सी स uh, so this dominant gene A is unable to produce agoti color in absence of gene uh, C. It is that dominant gene C is higher. If there are, for example, this will be C, C, A, A. This is homozygous recessive. And this is what is recessive epistasis. So this is what is recessive epistasis. So in recessive epistasis, let me make you again clear. It is higher than C small z. अतो मोजाइगस रिसेसिव था वने इल्ले डोमिनेंट एली ए कैपिटल ए को आ एक्सप्रेशन लाइस सफेस कराने का चाहिए एंड डेट इज व्हाट इज आ रिसेसिव स्टेज तो रा ये दी यो यो उटा सी कैपिटल ये उटा इसमें वायो वन टेस्ट वेलामा टेस्ट वेलामा इट विल बी ब्लैक इफ देर अब ये तो बच्ची सही देर आर बोथ Again, the color will be a good So now let's look at this diagram. Now, what do you think of this? Pure black mice. Pure black mice means that it is a capital C, C, and then our dominant allele is in China. So both are here, small and small. Now, we have pure albino mice. We have to cross the line. So pure albino is in China. So this has to be in China. So this is what is recessive homozygous condition, and there are dominant alleles A. Now it's called gametes, so it will be C A, and another is also C A, but 
this seeds uh, this this seeds capital and this here this seeds this man by what's up for a our ethic here is a fun generation ma ego chica right because there is one dominant element a now and not only because of this it is equity because there is also one domi dominant dominant element c so now in f2 generation of lit and the lit must have four or again so capital c capital a capital c small a capital uh, small c capital a small c small a and now there are these elites uh sorry gametes written over here ab li se edi rakhiyo bhani heriyo bhani now let's become clear from this table let's go phenotype here rakheri edi capital remember it again listen to me carefully edi capital a cha ra ah euta bhai pani capital c cha bhani it will be ekoti so ekoti euta bhai capital c cha and euta bhai capital a ekoti ekoti Egoti, egoti, egoti. Okay, so now here our capital. Okay, so first let me uh, complete everything. So this is again capital, capital C, capital, capital C, at least somebody egoti, and then capital C, capital egoti, capital C, capital A, egoti. Okay, so now, so now let's again look at very around the area. So. अब यो पनी बार कैपिटल सी कैपिटल ए इट शुड बी आल्सो एगोटी सो अब यहाँ ने रहे राउंड यो एगोटी सी दियो सो ब्लैक की ना वाइट आप लेकिन यहाँ ने रहे कैपिटल सी था एंड ये उटा मंत्र या था दुई चाइ कैपिटल सी वो स्तरा दुई चाइ ए चाइ इट शुड बी स्मॉल सो देन इट विल बी ब्लैक सो इट इज ब्लैक Okay, so you tell me three by any capital C number. Okay, so this will be again black. So this will be again obvious much a capital C China. It's my capital A matrix sir, and it is not a goti either. But you say you can a goti only by. So we completed for both a goti and black. So now let's look at ah the about recessive ah recessive epistasis for current data that can ah all by no take a look at zero. So, it is duite C small, duite ah duite C small, and the capital. Okay, so ah duite C small and the capital. So I can find it here. Duite C small capital. Now it should have been a goti. If there were no phenomenon, such phenomenon called recessive epistasis or epistasis. तर यानि यो recessive epistasis को कारण निकाल दा. यो dominant ली A को express जिन से express होना पाऊँ देना. Because it is in homozygous recessive condition, and the phenotype expressed will be albino. And similarly, here, you have capital A sir, and then C C, so it is also albino. And now here, we have the capital C sir, capital C sir. So again, this will be albino, and this will also be ah uh, albino. So now, if you if you look at the phenotypic ratio of a goat, of a goat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and then it will be it will be also eight, nine. So let's look at a uh, black phenotype. A black phenotype here, one. So one, two, and then so black. So this should this should be black. So now three. And if you look at uh, albino phenotype, so this is al this is albino, this is albino, this is albino, this is albino. So four. So now the uh, Phenotypic ratio in F2 generation will be 93 to 4 for recessive epistasis. So in dominant epistasis, now, now what is it? What is it? Yeah, there are two types. Ah, homozygous recessive condition, ma dominant allele lines suppressed. So now in dominant epistasis, is ma the key on the table. Now, if you dominant allele co karan lega ta, if you dominant allele or dominant gene A co karan lega ta, recessive gene. B, उन्हें ये वाला विशेष है, B को ये फैक्ट लाइन हाइड करना चाहिए। So, अब ये डोमिनेंट C कुने ये वाला लोकस में बाय को डोमिनेंट C है, आ कुने और को लोकस में बाय को जीन लाइन। So it can suppress that, and we अब इस तो वेला में चाहिए, if static gene is dominant over this one allele वगैरह मार्च। So the example is कुकर भी चाहिए पर, so also नाम एक समरिस क्लास। So ये समरिस क्लास में तीन तरीका फ्रूट्स आ 
अब व्हाइट कलर से सब पे मैं डोमिनेट होने चाहिए और सब पे कलर में तो व्हाइट कलर इस डोमिनेट ओवर एल्लो एंड थ्री अन्य एल्लो कलर से कती बेला मात्रे एक्सप्रेशन्स हैं एंड दिस इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट एल्लो कलर इज एक्सप्रेस्ड ओनली व्हेन डोमिनेंट एपिस्टैटिक जीन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय इट्स रिसेसिव है ना वाइट से दूसरी जगह कलर पांच से डोमिनेंट सा अब एल्लो एक्सप्रेस होना अगर लाइकी यो डोमिनेंट एपिस्टैटिक जीन अथवा जून सा डबल से इट शुड बी इन आ इट शुड बी इन रिसेसिव आ प्लाइस रिसेसिव एली इसको रिसेसिव एली एल लाइक रिप्रेजेंट कर पाता सो स्मॉल डब अब जति पहला यो एपिस्टैटिक � so if both are recessive, so uh, the condition we can imagine is small w, small w, small y, small y, then the color of fruit will be green. So remember, white then uh, so not white. If, if there is only one, even one uh, L or capital W, then it's going to be uh, white. If the same, all alleles are uh, homozygous relationship. So, for example, small w, small w, small y, small y, then it's going to be green. In other condition, it will appear green. And that green color comes because of dominant epistasis, the phenomenon of dominant epistasis. So, let's look at this diagram now. White fruit, white fruit, we are going to plant y. So, it is represented by this one. यदि ग्रीन फ्रूट पीयर करने समर स्क्वास को प्लांट सी था हमने क्रॉस करा है सो ग्रीन फ्रूट इस तो वेला मतलब उनका सो डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू वाई वाई सो ऑल आर मजाक इस रिसेस के लिए अन्य तेज़ तो वेला में या पांच जेनरेशन में आ हमने क्या पांच सौ तो बंदा सब पे में वाइट फ्रूट हैं ये उड़ा मतलब वाइ Fruit, color back, fruit sir, also. So they will be produced in the ratio two well is to three is to one. Right? Total there will be sixteen. So it is modified into two well is to three is to one. So in after generation. So now let's look at it here. So this is white, green. These are gametes. So crossing we obtain hybrid white. So now of this kind of possible gametes, so this can be capital W, capital Y. Capital W small y, small W capital Y, and small W small y. So these are different gametes for this hybrid white. Uh, so if we realize that, we need to see the how many tabulated form of the how many. So in this checker board, we can see that. So we will obtain. We just say capital. Our mother capital W is white, 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 white. So capital W white, 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 capital W white. So now let me leave this now for now. Capital W white, capital W white. So now here, sub is small is So this is green. Now, abe yehne ra yehnu pare wani. Yoma, yoma, yoma. And it's it appears the fruit appears yellow. And this is because of the phenomenon of dominant epistasis. Kina wani? Yo capital Y अब ये तो पार्टी आ इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ बोथ अब इसको यो आ व्हाइट फ्रूट को एलिल ये तो ये लाइक चे दूसरे रिसेसिव और मतलब क्या रिसेसिव एलिल रिप्रेजेंट करे को पहला मैं ये तो पार्टी को डोमिनेंट एलिल एल एल क्या करे तो बंदा इसको अपने जीन को एक्सप्रेशन लाइक एल सॉफ्ट करे इसको अपने जीन को एक्सप्रेश अब ये तो पट्टी डोमिनेंट एलिल सही रिसेसिव फॉर्म में बाको गया ना लिसन टू मी केयरफुली अगेन ये तो पट्टी को डोमिनेंट एलिल दुई चाहिए इसका रिसेसिव एलिल ले रिप्रेजेंट करें को गया ना ये तो पट्टी को डोमिनेंट एलिल्स सो देन इट्स वाई कैपिटल वाई कैपिटल वाई इट इज एपिस्टैटिक ओवर एलिए एपिस्टैटिक है ना मैंने देखा हूँ सब अब देखो अब हम ले डोमिनेंट एलिए डोमिनेंट बना रहे हैं तब बट कैपिटल डबल ये तो इसमें डबल ये तो देखा हूँ नहीं ना कुछ कोई कैपिटल डबल ऑन बिटवीन दे इस ऑटोमेटिकली वाइट तो इस नो अदर क्वेश्चन अब अब ते बारे ये इसमें बाको डोमिनेंट एलिए 
आफ्नै रिसेसिव एलिलको एक्सप्रेसनलाई सप्रेस गर्छ एन्ड वी कल दिस फेनोमेनन डोमिनेन्ट एपिस्टेसिस एन्ड देयरफोर द कलर विल बी सो बोथ स्मॉल डब्ल्यू स्मॉल डब्ल्यू एन्ड देन देयर इज वन कैपिटल वाई नाउ इट्स एल बोथ स्मॉल डब्ल्यू स्मॉल डब्ल्यू वन एट लीस्ट कैपिटल वाई एल बोथ स्मॉल डब्ल्यू स्मॉल डब्ल्यू टू कैपिटल वाई एल हाउएवर व्हेन ऑल आर इन इट्स रिसेसिव फॉर्म so small w small w small y small y so let me uh, conclude it again in dominant epistasis the dom when uh agadi patti ko athwa dominant allele in this case w is represented by its homozygous recessive allele small w small w then at that time dominant allele uh, will be epistatic over its own recessive allele and ele ele epistatic phenomenon dekha ko bar isko green color se hara now it will be appear it will be appearing yellow red so we find this ratio to yellow is to 3 to 1 white is to yellow is to 3 okay so now let's talk about uh, polygenic inheritance so this is another case of interallelic interaction edi phenotypic character lai euta bhanda badi chhi so now this was on the same chromosome alleles and jalle asar gaucha so it can be in, uh, in other chrom uh, in, in other chromosomes also hai locus ta farak hunai paryo aba chromosome chai it can be the same or different so epistasis this is for same chromosome and polygenic inheritance is in another or separate chromosomes so euta bhanda badi gene le control garcha and this is called polygenic inheritance र यसलाई चाहिँ के गर्छ त भन्दा फेरि सबै डोमिनेन्ट एलिलहरुको चाहिँ कुमुलेटिभ अथवा टोटल इफेक्ट हुन्छ उनीहरु जोडिदै जोडिदै जान्छ र हरेकलाई चाहिँ एउटा एउटा ट्रेडको एउटा एउटा अथवा लेट मी रिप्रेजेन्ट बाइ प्लस 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 अर समथिङ लाइक दैट एन्ड अल सच जीन्स आर नन एलिल नन एलिलिक भनेको एकै ठाउँमा अथवा तिनीहरुको लोकस एउटै छैन दे आर दे आर डिफरेन्ट सो फर एक्जामपल कर्नेल कलर इन व्हिच अब व्हिचमा रेड कर्नेल भेराइटीमा सबै यो चाहिँ एलिल्स आर डोमिनेन्ट छ यदि हामीले यसलाई व्हाइट कर्नल भेराइटी सो व्हाइट कर्नल भेराइटी इज दिस वन रेड इज दिस वन एन्ड दिस इज यो व्हाइट कर्नल भेराइटी मा चाहिँ सो एभ्री एलिल हियर इज इन इट्स रिसेसिव फर्म सो स्मल ए स्मल ए स्मल बी स्मल बी अब एफ1 जेनेरेसन मा चाहिँ हामीले के पाउँछौ भने दुईटालाई क्रस गरे भने दुईटा एलिल्स विल बी डोमिनेन्ट एन्ड दुईटा विल बी रिसेसिव एन्ड देयरफोर इट विल बी शोइंग अस विथ द इन्टरमीडिएट between red and white kernel so we say it is intermediate red aba you intermediate red ka generation athwa f1 generation ka generation la self cross karan athwa self pollinate karan then i'm going to say panch wada different phenotypic characters are dekhcho and the ratio will be 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 and that will be found in the after generation so Uh, before moving to the diagram let me make you clear on these things so the first is that so these are uh, wheat kernel color from white to light red and then intermediate red and then uh, sorry uh, so this is red color this is medium color this is intermediate red color and this is light red and this is uh, white so i go from the darkest to the least dark सो अब इसमें से यो से कलर आ रहा है इसका डोमिनेंट एलिल्स हैं जैसे कौन से वाला था ना रेड कलर में सो फॉर एग्जांपल यू कैन सी हियर सो ऑल एलिल्स आर डोमिनेंट सो फोर डोमिनेंट एलिल्स मीडियम रेड में तीन का तीन चार इंटरमीडिएट में दो चार लाइट रेड में दो चार नो व्हाइट में सो दिस इज व्हाइट कॉर्नर � अब इसको चाहिँ रेशियो इट विल बी मोडिफाइड सो 1 इज 2 4 इज 2 6 इज 2 4 इज 2 1 सो दिस इज व्हाट वी फाइंड 1 इज 2 4 इज 2 6 इज 2 4 इज 2 1 आउट अफ 16 रेड कलर को सेन्टर मा एउटा हुन्छ एस्टो मा मीडियम रेड का चार वटा इन्टरमीडिएट का चार वटा लाइट रेड का चार वटा र व्हाइट रेड का सो यसमा हामीले के देख्यौ भने कलर इन्टेन्सिटी अफ द व्हिच कर्नर चाहिँ केले डिटरमाइन गर्छ त भन्दा डोमिनेन्ट जीन्स संख्या कति छ एन्ड दैट दैट डिटरमाइन्स द इन्टेन्सिटी अफ कलर एन्ड अगेन द जीन्स आर एलिल्स can be residing on different chromosomes and they are always non elil so now let's look at this diagram so phenotypes of parents so red kernels so all for dominant genes in this type you can see white kernels all recessive alleles 
So no dominant alleles in the genotype. So the gametes produced are capital A, capital B here, and small a is going to be here from white corner variety. So in F1 generation, we will have two dominant alleles in the genotype, and that will refer to the intermediate, right? So on selfing these, we will get uh, we will get them in the ratio of one is to four is to six is to four is to one, where one is red or red color or color which corner variety, four is for medium rate, six is for intermediate rate, four is for light rate, and one is uh, white. So this is what is the ratio. Okay. So now let's move to the pleiotropic gene or lethal gene. So the next topic. body phenotypic straight line the organism We call that pleiotropic gene or lethal gene. Ani you lethal you you phenomenon lai pleiotropic effect pancha. Ra lethal gene leke garcha bhane normal development individual ko normal development pata deviate garne pancha ra. Ah many will die in utero. In utero sp three morsa. Kati chain jan me pachi young age me or childhood me morsa. So depending on the nature of gene or disease developed. So say thari thari. So two organism anyway doesn't survive. And due to lethal gene, abnormal ratio say cut the out of the one. Like has three to one of the Mendelian pattern of genetics inheritance part, and that will get modified into two to one. Uh kino and kina is the one of the yoga much because of uh pleiotropic effect. So lethal gene is seen in either in homozygous dominant condition or the homozygous recessive condition. So we will look at what they I mean do take condition. So let's look at first example in mice. In the mice, we have two heterozygous yellow for mice. Capital Y, small y. Uh, so it will, uh, it will like cross current one. It will say two yellow, the yota egoti color can say off screen. So the ratio is two is to one. Now, yes, my kina, you crossing guard, they play your heterozygous use garden for it. You homozygous dominant pine pine because this is a uh, Lethal gene. Otherwise, you do it your mozaigas dominant by money to mouse type, John Mononda, or Gadi much. Therefore, this is what we call a uh, modified F1 generation, the Hine ratio 2 is to 1. So, uh, L is to good. So, the dominant homozygous uh, capital Y, capital Y gene, so your genotype. Thing. So, that will, that is known as lethal gene, and the illegal vacuum, the Musa say, Pansne Pondina, by the much. So, let's look at this in the diagram. So this is the male mouse with yellow for what? Well, yellow for for saying you say uh, homozygous dominant one. So it is heterozygous, and this is similar. Obviously, you say the, the sex is different. This is male. This is female. And then when they are crossed, so you can find that in the F1 upstream we have these four different genotypes. However, you are saying you the pile more. like So we have two yellow is to one egoti. So the modified ratio is three to one. Uh, in F1 generation. So the next example is uh, a pleiotropic effect. It's in human. Up a human matter, I miss it. I yo RBC man. Hemoglobin co derangement for that. It is sickle cell anemia and go cluster. And generally, it's very common among African population. Also, Nepal, Matarai, Matharu, and certain region. The sickle cell anemia is prevalent. So, and I like. Homozygous recessive condition represented by this genotype. Uh, SBS, HPS. So, homozygous recessive condition is the like a little bit. Now, what do you think about it? You can see the hemoglobin. You can the RBC. You can the RBC. You can see the distorted shape. That means they, uh, they, they, uh, they have to give up their flexibility. You know, RBC is a very capillary. You can see the because they are pygon cave disc, uh, you know, take them sano and they, they are quite flexible. That are you're saying, uh, distorted, uh, RBC cell, that's why sickle cell RBC cells, this to them, certain, and therefore they they burst and it's not a full set. Put your key by the oxygen carrying capacity will be lower, and that will result in anemia. And you homozygous sickle cell individuals are saying, silent one, severe anemia. So when two sickle cell carriers, we do not have um, here homozygous research. They cannot match 
ไม่ได้การสอบไปมีนักทุเมทซึ่งไอ้ที่ดูใจสิ่งเคลเซลแคริเออร์สรุปสันอาทิตย์นั้นเราอ่านนี่ถ้าคุณอยากจะเกิด